and thank you for viewing into the crazy lady cooks. Today I will be making bow tie chicken with alfredo sauce with broccoli. These are our ingredients for the dish. We, you need one red onion chopped up, two teaspoons of dried parsley, one tablespoon of like a dried garlic sliced but it's dry garlic, one tablespoon. One teaspoon of a minced garlic. This one happens to be like an, I believe an oil, but a minced garlic. Two tablespoons of butter. Two containers of Alfredo sauce, 15 ounce jars. Um, any brand will do. I don't make a homemade Alfredo. So I use the can, I mean a jar. Two pounds of cooked chicken. It can be dark meat, white meat, does not matter, but two pounds of cooked chicken. A um, package of cooked bow tie pasta. Um, it, box bag, doesn't matter, it's about a pound of it. Um, to just cooked pasta. And six cups a fresh cut broccoli. Um, this is what they call a vegetable a salad spinner thing, um, gadget. You basically pour the liquid into here when you're rinsing off your vegetables and you turn this gadget around to spin them dry. Um, basically it spins them. There are holes in the bottom of this thing to like basically drain the liquid off. So but that's six cups of, of um, cut broccoli. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to put this dish together. We're gonna start with putting about um, two to four tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. You can just eyeball it if you want. And then we're going to add our onion to it. Now a lot of places, a lot of shows you watch on TV will tell you to cut an onion up by slicing through like this and then going back like this. That to me is more difficult than just cutting the onion in, in strips like this and then turning it and cutting it in pieces. That other way, I swear if I tried to do that, I probably would cut my finger or something. So basically drop the onion in the pan and kind of like stir it around once you drop it in the pan. Put the rest of that onion over here. Just kind of stir it around. It also coats that, moves that oil around on the pan for you and kind of coats the onion. And start like cooking that up a little bit. We're going to add to that our other ingredients here. We're going to add our dry uh, garlic. I'm not one on using a lot of um, fresh garlic. I just never have. I use this lick, um, this moist my, minced up garlic a lot. I like it. It's very strong in flavor. Very strong. So if you're not familiar with it a lot, it's just very, very strong. We're going to let that saute a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add the butter to it and let that melt down. And we'll just let that all like simmer a little bit for a few minutes before, well, we'll go ahead and add our chicken to it. We'll go ahead and add chicken. Let that cook and heat up some more too. And it's already cooked. But we're gonna, we're gonna let this go for a few minutes and let this saute up a little bit. And then we'll be back to add the other ingredients to the dish. Okay, we are back to put some more of the dish together. It's sizzling, you can hear the sizzle possibly. Just kind of stir it around. Don't necessarily, I don't necessarily want the onions to be all opaquey and stuff because I like a little crunch to my vegetables and my onion and everything. And they will get soft enough to enjoy them. 
Now I'm going to add the broccoli. Again, it's fresh. I like a crunch to my vegetables and stuff. I'm gonna kind of stir that around. Stir everything every time I add it. Now I don't know if I'm gonna use totally all the pasta yet or not. I will find out. But I cooked it because if I don't use it, we'll just heat it up and put sauce or something on it later this week. But I went ahead and cooked it. Now I'm going to add the bow tie pasta. Again, this is one of those pasta boats. I love it because it has a little drain holes after you cook it in the microwave. And it's wonderful for um, cooking your pasta in, all kinds of things. I, I even do my potatoes when I make potato salad in it. Okay, I'm going to kind of like scrape some of this out and see how much of it fills up the pan. And start with about half. Kind of stir it together. I don't want to overflow my um, my pot here. So we're going to add some more to it. I think my daughter just likes eating pasta by itself with a little bit of cheese on it. I'm not sure, but I think she does. So I'm just going to stir this up. So like I said, pasta won't go to waste. If I got too much cooked. Actually, I actually think I'm gonna add just a little bit more and then stop with that. So it's just under just under a package of pasta. You know, you can put more in there if you want, but you hear it kind of sizzle. And that broccoli starting to kind of like I guess wilt a little bit. And that's what I want it to do. I don't want it to be too. You can use frozen broccoli if you don't have fresh. It's just we went to the store today and um, brought home fresh broccoli. You thought, well, shoot, we'll make it with fresh broccoli instead of the other. I'm going to go ahead and add the parsley now. That way I can kind of see where it's going. You may or may not see it too much in the sauce. Um, you can always add a little bit more at the end if you want for color. That's basically what it is for color. Now I'm going to add the Alfredo sauce again. I'm using jar. I do, I'm not big on making a sauce. By, you know, for my dish. Kind of just stir it in as I go. Again, it takes two. Just stir it in real good. Kind of let this like heat up and simmer for, I don't know, about 10 minutes or so. Maybe less, maybe a little bit more, depending on how much. Just stir it while it is cooking a little bit. Just want to make sure everything gets coated good. So if you kind of stir it up and then let it go for a few minutes and stir it again. And maybe stir it a third time. So we'll let this simmer for a few minutes and then we'll be back to plate it. And we're back. We've let it cook about 10 to 15 minutes, stirring it occasionally, and it smells so, so good. So we'll just plate this up. A little bit here. And today on our show, we have a special guest. We have my husband, Phil, Hello. who will be tasting it for us. Okay. One more thing you can do to this before you serve it is you can top it with a little bit of cheese. You can top it with Romano cheese or Parmesan cheese. Um, you can have the fresh stuff, but we have this always on hand. Would you like to have a little bit of this on this today? Absolutely. Okay. We'll just top it a little bit, sprinkle it. Wrong side. Sprinkle a little bit of that on there. We'll let him take a taste of this for us and let us know what he thinks. Might be a little hot. Mm. There's a little bit of water for you. Mm. Oh, Very you said yum. I gotta taste it too. Mm. Let me taste a little taste of this. A little bit of that broccoli there. Mm. Piece of the bow tie. Oop, I dropped it. Mmm, that is good. That is good. 
that. Pour myself some more. It is really good. So, I hope your family enjoys it as much as we will. Thank you for watching and always remember that eating with your family and friends is the most important part of your day. So until next time, eat good, be good from the crazy lady who cooks.